Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus being to Aiden LaPret about season two of The Wilds, which recently dropped on Prime Video. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, PD. Thanks for having me, man. No problem. This is pretty crazy, right? Because you get cast for this, you go, you shoot it, release dates, we find out there's going to be a boys' island. I mean, now it's finally out. What's it been like now that it's finally out? It's been it's been pretty crazy, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> it's been kind of uh, it's kind of been unbelievable since you know um, I got the chance to audition for it in January of 2021, and yeah, I was like, I didn't really believe I was in it until I was in Australia, you know, shooting, even when I got to Australia, it was still kind of like, okay, you know, like it was still kind of like, um, you know, over the moon about it. And then, um, yeah, we started shooting like a month in. So we had like a month off kind of just like hanging out, getting to know each other, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, now it's out and, um, I'm feeling really, you know, blessed and, um, really humbled to be here with everybody. I feel like it's the same with the girls' island. I mean, we we're introduced to the boys' island, and it's interesting because there's like pairs of people on the island that know each other, right? Like your yeah. your character is step brothers with Seth. Then there's you know um, Tanner and um, Reed's characters are best friends. Like like they know each other, right? Kieran and Ivan have had history. Um, was that kind of interesting seeing it on script basically seeing that there was kind of history in between certain people and some were like allies and some were foes right out the gate yeah I mean it was interesting you know I mean I kind of it was kind of expected you know going from the first season uh, each girl had had a pair and they were yeah. you know with someone on the island and they knew each other so I was kind of expecting it but when I saw when I originally found out who was playing who because yeah. even as we were flying to Australia we had no idea who was who we yeah. didn't know who was and like we were trying to like look around seeing like who could play a, a you know a 17 year old on tv um like while we were on the plane and uh yeah so like w when we figured out the pairs yeah it was very interesting and I thought it was very uh compelling that the people that they decided to put together and and um you know and who, who ended up being you know the groups does it hit you that you're technically working on a genre bending show, Aiden? Because there's kind of moments where you're watching it where it's got so many kind of components thrown at you. Like it's it's got components where it's very, very deep and tough subject matter. It has some moments where it's actually funny. It has some moments where it's kind of like a thriller suspense with the whole survival aspect of it. I mean, we don't at times know exactly what kind of show I feel like we're watching with the Wilds sometimes. Mm. That's exactly right. I mean, yeah. that's, that's that's why I feel so blessed to like, you know, for a lot of for a lot of the boys cast and I know a lot of the girls cast, this is their first, you know, major role on a show. And mm -hmm. um, for it to be this, you know, like you said, genre bending show, that's just so good and and really pulls you in and, and, and makes you kind of not want to turn it off. You know, it's yeah. a very binge worthy show and, and you want to just keep playing it until it's done. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it has hit me for sure. I mean, and, and, um, that's what I love about it. You know, it's, it's, it's all over the place and, and in a great way. Has it hit you that your character made us all go back and listen to the black parade on repeat <laughs> after that episode? Dude. Um, I yeah. literally went back and I listened to, I love my MCR is one of my favorite bands of all time. I grew like, that's the, my genre of music I grew up with and everything, but dude, yeah. I, <laughs> That was so good. You did such a great job of that scene. I went back and listened to the album again. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's so good. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it honestly did not hit me. I mean, what, when I when I read it on the script, because mm. um, people said it online. Like I saw I saw social media about that. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> mostly, yeah. That's when it hit me when I was seeing all the all the tweets and and posts and stuff. But I remember reading it in the script, and I was like, wow, like. This is basically Henry's like national anthem. I would, think, you know. <laughs> um, well, you're, you, you're a music. You were you did music as well, right? Before acting as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm both. Um, yeah, exactly. Still, but um, I've been I've been doing both for around the same time, a very long time, and yeah. uh, 
But yeah, when I read it on the script for the first time, I remember talking to um, the showrunner, Amy Harris, about it. And she was like, I just knew we needed to have this song in the show <laughs> and I needed Henry to sing it. And uh, yeah, it was just so much fun. And, and I'm glad to see everybody really uh, got a kick out of it. The only constructive criticism more because I just love the song is like the bit like they, I was waiting for like the build in, right? Because they're like... They, <laughs> Because it like if you start singing and then they're actually playing the song and I'm just waiting for like the drum build in, right? <laughs> yeah. We actually did it. It was funny as we did a longer version of it. And at the end, I like bang on the table and I'm like drumming and stuff. But I love how they ended that. In the script, I want to see that so badly. Awesome. <laughs> in the script, it wasn't uh, mentioned that it would go to, um, to Shoney and, you know, Go to that to that scene, which is so cool, and like oh, how the, how the song keeps playing into that scene is so cool to me. Which one would you say came first, the acting or the music, or it kind of just happened at the same time that you wanted to do both? Yeah, um, it kind of happened at the same time. I mean, I grew up around like a set. My, both of my parents worked in uh, film and TV, yeah. and uh, and I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii originally, so. Mm -hmm. I was uh, kind of born into like being around the set and like I really fell <laughs> in love with, like the behind the scenes aspects of it. So I knew I wanted to do something in, you know, that field. Yeah, the storytelling um, realm of things. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I, like, and I like made like my own little films when I was a kid and like mm -hmm. um, that was before I even started getting into music. And then I got into music when I was like, I would say like eight is when I really got into it. Mm -hmm. But I've been acting longer than music and and uh but yeah i just you know i love both and then um, just doing both getting back to season two you all you also kind of made like a psa about are your social media of, and you didn't kind of waste time where there are some subject there are some episodes in season two that are very very tough subject matter they're going to be difficult to watch they yeah. tackle very important issues but they're going to be very difficult to watch when you are reading what's to come because your character is um involved with some of those storylines and there's confrontations in regards to it i mean i'm sure it's a bit difficult seeing that on script uh, for the first time that you're going to be having to deal with a lot of that stuff on 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 screen oh yeah i mean for sure um i remember th they talked to us about it before we got the script and then you know let us know that there was going to be some really heavy subject matters and, uh, you know, sensitive and, and um, potentially, you know, trigger triggering yeah. scenes um, to appear. So, um, and, you know, with Seth being Henry's stepbrother, yeah. you know, it does, it does cause Henry to, you know, obviously go through many different emotions and like, yeah. he's always kind of felt a certain way about Seth and, and is he kind of, like, he kind of, yeah, he kind of knows what's going on, even though he's not yeah. actually taking action. Right. For sure. I mean, he, I think he, he knows Seth is, is uh, capable of uh, doing the horrific things that he does on the yeah. Island. And uh, you know, there is a scene where, where um, everyone's kind of exiling him out mm -hmm. and uh, it doesn't really take long for Henry to, to kind of be a part of the good side, you know? Yeah. Um, is it challenging though for an actor in that situation for your character, Henry, where it is kind of like we said, because I find it very interesting that you just brought that up, that he kind of knows what's happening. He knows Seth has a really volatile history of just being not a very like good human being at all type thing. And there's this like, but he's trying to kind of figure stuff out and he doesn't know like is that a ch that that's i feel like that's a challenging exercise for an actor aiden to play a character like yeah. that yeah i mean honestly the whole this whole experience has been such a uh, such a, like all i could ask for as an actor because i'm able to like dive into these um into these different moods and like uh environments that the characters are placed in and especially in the show like there's so many happy times and then it immediately gets dark and then it kind of like, you know, kind of just keeps going um, yeah. and going through many different moods and stuff. And um, it, yeah, it was challenging for sure. But we, you know, we all had each other kind of there, you know, kind of holding each other and, and kind of being there for each other, you know, especially during those times. And, and uh, I think Alex and, and Nick, mm. you know, they, they had a really tough, task to be yeah. able to you know, do it do a scene depict a scene like that and um 
yeah, you know, I just think uh, it was really nice that we had this big cast for us to kind of like, you know, care for each other. How do you approach as an actor? And I'm sure what I love about this question is I've had a chance to ask some of your cast this question. I feel like I get a different answer every time. So I want to ask you this. I mean, how do you approach the concept of community with the island, but but like no choice community? Like you have no choice but to be part of a community. Some some of the members of the boys island are more understanding that they have no choice and some don't want a part of it at all right how do you approach it as an actor seeing that there's going to be push and pulls constantly in a situation where like if they want to survive they have to stick together like I, i'm just curious about that yeah um i think for henry specifically yeah. i mean playing him to where like he for me i think it's it's actually good in a weird way that he was sent to the island because he's forced to kind of be put in these in, in, yeah. situations where he's not comfortable in and he's he can't kind of be in his dark emo mode all the time because it doesn't really resolve anything and it no. doesn't help get back to you know uh to life yeah. um in the real world and uh i think it just he learns a lot about like leadership and teamwork and and kind of, you know, being forced to be in this group of people that he doesn't necessarily want to be with, you know? And uh, yeah, I just think, I think it's a really cool uh, thing to see these people kind of be forced to be in a group and, you know, get things done in order to survive, you know? A hundred percent. I add, I also asked to read this. I mean, there's one of my favorite scenes about season two is that scene where you're just kind of throwing the Frisbee around. <laughs> um, and apparently that was kind of just one of those things where, you were all just throwing the frisbee around. They just like took out the cameras and started shooting it, right? Oh yeah. I mean, there's a scene where <laughs> where uh, Roth, the Zach, gets hit by the frisbee and is uh, like someone throws it at his head. <laughs> but that was like real. That was like not scripted. And uh, <laughs> I gotta go back and see that. <laughs> I know. And they like kept it in, and I was like, yeah. It, I mean, that was us, honestly. Like, you could see me smiling and stuff. I'm like, that's me. Like. Henry doesn't, you know, Henry doesn't smile, you know? <laughs> you do you do the press junket where you're speaking to all these outlets from around the world. You have that amazing premiere. Um, you do the Instagram lives on the Wilds account with all your cast. Um, before that, though, is it kind of just one of those, like, yeah, you know, my uh, TV show I'm in is coming out soon. Yeah, cool. And then does it start hitting you more, like, once you start doing, like, the press junkets or everything? Or has this started kind of this process that it's coming out, it was coming out May 6th? Has, th th has this been, like, a three-month kind of thing where you're kind of preparing yourself mentally for it? Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, I mean, we shot the show a, more than a year ago, you know? August, um, right? You wrapped yeah, up? We yeah, we wrapped in August of uh, 2021. And, uh, you know, I think once we got back to, to the States, um, we were like, oh, like, you know, like, when is it going to come out? Like, you know, we were waiting a, a while. And, like, um, usually I think that that high, like, goes down. But I know for the majority of us, it did not. I mean, like, the, like waiting these, you know, however many months, Mm -hmm. um it was was pretty difficult and but we were just so excited for it to, you know we just knew it was coming out and uh i knew that we were all really proud of it and uh yeah now, now it's out and uh it's been great i said this recently on a, uh with a tweet like i tweeted this out recently so it's no like it's no secret or anything so i'm not sure i think some of the cast saw it but i think season two is like 10 times better than season one you know what I mean? And I, I think that's like kind of the point. Like when you talk to showrunners and creators and writers, like whenever you get a season two of a show, you want like the, the, the obvious goal is like making it better than the first. Like that's, yeah. I think the whole thing. There's a lot of people that agree with me that they really love what happened for season two. Is it kind of cool to hear that people are in kind of agreements that a lot of the story has just been elevated a lot in season two, Aiden? Um, I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a big, um, big thing to hear you know yeah. um me personally i w when i had the actually watched the show before i auditioned because yeah. um someone that i know um was in the first season um she played tony's girlfriend um and when i watched it i was like wow like this is such a good show like it's genuinely just a good show yeah. and like 
it's such raw and authentic performances of these teenagers. And yeah. uh, but I love season one. Just to show you, yeah, that yeah, I yeah. love season one. Yeah, yeah. But I really yeah. like season two. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's really great. I love both seasons. Um, and I think they both have um different things to to love about them for sure. And I think I think the second season does get, you know, more dark and yeah. uh there is a lot of chaos going on, even more than I, you know, than the first season. I would say it's a tough task though to all of a sudden like bring in the boys island and just you guys are all, all like all of a sudden just super important to the story. You know what I mean? And like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, but I, they did such a great job. Um, you all did a great job. Aiden, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turn. It was so great chatting with you. Thanks, PD man. Uh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I think I watch season two of The Wilds now on Prime Video. Uh, social media. Where can they follow you to keep update with everything? Yeah, um, Aiden Lapret. A I D A N L A P R E T E. I'm on Instagram. Um, I do have a Twitter, yeah. Um, check any, any 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 tunage coming out soon? You're working on anything? <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I feel like that's everyone. Like that's like a musician's like answer to everything. Do you have any new music Wait, coming it, out? Maybe it's true though. It's like you, I guess you don't really know until you're like, okay, here's a song. Like you know. So I'm man, like, I used to be in bands all the time. PD Beats was like my stage name was I was a drummer. Yeah, yeah. I was like PD Beats. Okay, sick. Yeah. <laughs> so fun fact, I played, I opened up, I did a show. Um, I always talk about this, which like I haven't actually said this in an interview yet. So a lot of people, I used to be in like some local bands in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We opened up for a band who were part of that kind of scene of like the MCR called Scary Kids, Scaring Kids. Oh. And um, Modson was the drummer that oh, was wow. like playing with Scary Kids. And I, so me and him like shared like a snare drum. <laughs> for a show <laughs> it's really cool yeah, yeah Modson's cool i think i haven't i can't name a song from him right now yeah, he's got a I, bunch I, but I mean, but yeah he was it was just like yeah that was a really cool thing um you're from canada i am but like the show is so global so people don't even sometimes sometimes people think about like hear it from my accent but like yeah. Um, it's just yeah no there's so many there's so much good stuff happening and no hopefully they can see some tunes some more music because your music i I've, I've listened to your music before it's good stuff man oh, thank you it's Thanks really so good much. awesome well this has been pop turn if you do.com slash pop turn for previous episodes you of course can catch aiden lepret as henry in season two of the wilds on prime video until next time it's aiden and pd beats signing off thank you for tuning in to pop turnative make sure to check out our past episodes of pop turnative on youtube be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.